So we're in the power pack for advanced steel and we're going to be taking a look at the multi-grid level tool found under the create elements panel. And for this version we've made a few changes to this introducing the option to add layers automatically when you activate grids at different levels. Initially within the model you will see a grid layer here. So this is grid. If we now come back to the command here and activate the command, the first change that you'll note in here is that we are now introducing our own grid zero layer to the model space. This is so we're not reliant upon the grid layer being present within the model that is being used, so from the source template from the user. I'm just going to change to the levels tab here and obviously when we replicate the grid up, we can use the create levels here and it will replicate the grid up to each one of those levels that is within the model space. And you'll notice now that there's a layers column introduced and presently they all say grid zero. We found that some users like to use a method where they transfer each of these grids onto an individual layer. So this checkbox and command here will facilitate that. And you can see that the colors have changed down here and obviously the naming of the grids has changed here also within the layers column. If you just come over here and take a look at the layers property manager dialog, you can see that these grids have now been added into the system. So we have grid zero, a minus one and minus two, and obviously positive two, one and two there as well. This option allows the user to obviously move those grid elements to those layers and have the individual control. So if you're working within the layers property manager, if you choose to turn a layer off, you can toggle it here, it's visibility, etc. here. So we find that sometimes users prefer to work with the layers property manager rather than using some of the commands within advanced steel. Also, by having the grids on different layers, means that they can make use of the functionality to transfer elements to overview stroke general arrangement drawings where layers and their properties, colors, etc., can be transferred across into those drawing types. Also, I'm just going to note now if I uncheck this, you'll see that it all reverts back to grid zero and those layers are removed from the layers property manager as they are now not required within the model space. If there was an element that had been manually modeled onto this layer within the model space, then that layer would not be deleted. This is following the protocol of AutoCAD, whereas if you have something modeled on a layer, even though you try to delete it, it won't let you remove that from the model space. You have to move the element to a different layer before you can delete stroke purge the layer. Just on checking it again, we'll revert that back. One final thing here is you, if you are using the option to project the grid, which is the alternative method from advanced steel, where the grid is projected to the level within the visible window, um, obviously the create grid layers element is grayed out. That's because obviously the functionality cannot apply because it's only a projected grid, not a replicated grid. So, Hopefully that is a quick introduction to the new feature to add layers to the multi-grid and level tool within the power pack for advanced steel.